And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Howdy folks, Darren back with you here at Cross Timbers Farm. Welcome to 8th Day Chronicles for this short uh, update. Snowy, cold day here in late January, almost February. We done our frost seeding about a week ago and boy have we had extreme weather swings. Uh, the week before we done our frost seeding we had temperatures in the single digits at night for several nights. Uh, daytime temperatures just in the teens or 20s. Then last week we got up a couple of days actually in the 50s. One day we got up to 60 and today we're back freezing temperatures. As you can well see uh, snowing uh, the grounds froze again. Our frost seeding, we could not have asked for better weather for our frost seeding. It's been perfect. We had that cold weather, frozen ground, the, the moisture in the topsoil to uh, freeze and form ice crystals, push that, that, that topsoil up and the warm weather melted those ice crystals, the moisture in the ground and the topsoil uh, to soften that soil, bring it back down. We spread our seed. Uh, it rained a couple of days. Now we have the ground frozen again and probably later in the week it's gonna warm up above freezing. Prime time for our frost seeding. We could not have asked for better weather for frost seeding. We've had some in, uh, questions about frost seeding timing, and this is what you're looking for. Uh, we have a couple inches of snow on the ground. It's still pouring. Uh, one bad thing about this weather, we have ventured into some tapping some maple trees this year. That's something I've always kind of wanted to get involved in. And uh, I have a maple tree right here, a big uh, sugar maple. Okay, it's hard to see in the, in the snow uh, with white buckets and stuff, but we've got a tree tap there and a tree tap right here. And there's hardly no uh, sap flowing. <laughs> I emptied these buckets yesterday and the, uh, the sap has stopped. Uh, I'm new to this, new to maple syrup. And uh, here in the mountains, we're blessed with some really good maple trees and uh, sugar maples and silver and red maples and uh, we've got some really big maple trees and uh, wanting, to, wanting to get into producing maple syrup and uh, oh I love real maple syrup. This weather fluctuation has the cold weather right now has stopped our sap from flowing. Maybe it'll start back next week. Uh, but a quick update on frost seeding. Uh, this is the type of weather you're looking for. If you're considering frost seeding, this is what you want. Those really hard freezes, warm ups, and then some moisture and then freezing again and then warming up. That's allowing that soil to the topsoil and, and the movement of that topsoil is not this dramatic. Uh, it's very minute, but it's a moving that soil with that ice crystals forming, freezing and thawing, freezing and thawing to pull those seed uh, into your soil without tilling, without disturbing that soil with machinery. 
freezing and thawing effect of that topsoil will pull that seed in. Uh, it works. We had really good success with it last year, and uh, I think we're going to even have better this year. The conditions were actually a little better this year. Uh, so we'll keep you updated as how the frost seeding goes this spring. Uh, just wanted to do a short update to show these weather conditions of the frost seeding where last week we were uh, 60 degrees. Well, before that, we were single digits. Last week, 60 degrees, now back to freezing. Uh, perfect recipe for frost seeding. Thanks for being with us. God bless you and your family. Hope y'all have a great day. I'm going to go get in the warmth by the fire.